<laughs> so, you like I have no idea where this is going to go right now. <laughs> I do have a script. I know I have a time limit. Um, I'm going to probably make it brief. Oh, that's fine. All right. Finally, after all these years, we meet again in person, which is awesome. There's so many people that I, I can't see because there's lights in my face. But there's so many people that uh, I've met through Drive in the last couple of years, the Zoom meetings and whatnot. It's been, been a long journey. It's been a long journey with a, my experience with managing success in Drive. Um, there are many people I'd like to thank uh, that helped me achieve this award. No, next picture. Sorry. This this beautiful woman here. And, and as, you can, as you can tell, nothing's really, nothing's changed much between us, right? That was the last time I was in a suit, I believe, too. But uh, next picture, please. I'd love to start off uh, talking about my, my lovely wife, Ellen, who's not only supported me all these years, but also been to many classes with me along the way. Um, Ellen's an entrepreneur as well. As you can see, she's a martial artist. She does have her own karate school. She works full-time for a phone company as well as takes care of three German Shepherd dogs that chew us out of house and home. Uh, I've seen many times the ways that she's implemented uh, ideas and, and, and things that she's learned at Drive uh, in management success through different classes that she was able to attend. Um, I'm continued to uh, be impressed with the amount of lives that she touches uh, through changing lives of children and adults with her martial arts, and uh, she's helped me change it as well. Um, next. Eric Laddick said, my business partner for over 26 years. He has supported me in my interest in drive and furthering my education. Eric has always had my back. Um, my lead tech, Mike Schaefer, who's been with us for since 1984, five, as well. Um, and my entire staff throughout the years. Um, now I'd like to acknowledge the people who have put up with me. Next one, please. Carla! Poor, poor Carla. I can't, I can't thank you enough. And, you know, uh, for all the push throughout the years, I've had many consultants. And um, I think Jim Smith was mine for a short period of time before I, I burnt him out. And uh, Carla, you stuck with it. And uh, thanks for many times you've kicked me in the ass to keep me motivated and, and on track. Um, Nicole, who next there, was uh, my sales advisor for the longest time, and I, I grow a uh, very huge friendship with her over the years, as many of us have. Uh, I got to the point where um, I, I hate spending money. I think we all do, right? <laughs> but it, Nicole had this way about her that, uh, you know, I would go out to the conventions and I'd say, you know, let me think about that. Uh, I got to go back talk to my partner. I mean, that's, you know, that's a lot of money. I, I, you know, and, okay, yeah, that was good. I'd go back and I wouldn't get the convention special anymore because it would take me months or years to make a decision. It got to the point that pretty much the last couple of conventions I was at with her, I just walk up to her and ask her where do I sign because the amount of money spent was nothing compared to the, the rewards that I've reaped throughout the years um, with, with everything I've learned here. Um, but then I was assigned to Siri, and uh, she received this Lifetime Achievement Award only because of everything she sold me. <laughs> because I do believe it took her just about all, all of her energy to, uh, to, to, well, put up with me, and also to uh, close the deals. But I, like many others here, uh, dove into as much training as we could uh, during, during lockdown, right? whatever you want to call it. And uh, although it was difficult to learn via TV or Zoom or any other means that we had, we did uh, gain a lot of ground. And, and I appreciate Siri for uh, convincing me, as well as Carla, uh, to do so. Oh, I'm sorry, Siri. Uh, the other thing is, uh, due to COVID, I have no pictures of Siri and I forget that. <laughs> I would like to thank uh, of course, I'd like to thank Bill Harry Monroe, Jim Smith, Bob Smith, Jim Saley, all help over the years, and they have given me Bill Kilpatrick. Thank you so much for, for getting this all together over the years, keeping it all together during the midst this, these crazy times, and uh, allowing us uh, a medium to, to do so, as well as this exposition, this 
I gotta say, seeing Wes here like like lit up my heart. I haven't seen him in so long, and it was awesome to see him. And the exposition, all the people, the veterans out there, are just awesome. And this has been a great uh, time this time around. Looking forward to it next year in Vegas, right? In Vegas. All right. There are so many pictures, uh, or so many people I'd like to mention in the, in, in the management success drive family, but I, I only have like five minutes, and I want to keep it there. One one next picture. I don't even know what it is now. Yeah, there we go. There's our dry family. It's amazing to me to think back when I thought it was all I was all alone. I, I really did, you know, all alone in these in these um, I'm sorry, all alone in these problems I had were just mine. Shortly after signing up with Man of Success, I soon realized that I was a captain of my own ship, yet I was in a room full of many other captains. Picture, next picture, please. This gentleman, Adam Jadovitz. Probably one of the first opera shop owners I ever met through Drive and coincidentally knew through Mitchell Shop Management Forums prior to meeting him in a class in California. And uh, I got I gotta say, like we were so we had our first time out there, come up to this little table, and there's name tags out and they're folded up, and there's Kevin, there's Ellen, there's Adam, and then and, and like this guy next to me is like, hey, I'm Adam. I'm like, hey, how you doing, Adam? He's like, no, I'm Adam, I'm Adam. I'm like, hey Adam, how you doing, Adam? He's like, no, I'm Adam. Like from Mitchell, shop manager, like, oh shit, now I, yeah, hey Adam, I just thought he was a nut job, right? So he's <laughs> like, okay. So Adam was one of the first shoppers I met through uh, forums meeting in a, in a class in California. Next one, please. Um, I'm proud to call Al, Adam one of my close friends. And it's amazing the relationships I have built with the many people here today. Next one. This guy. One day out of the blue, some clown shows up, <laughs> pulls right inside a repair garage, like inside the base, inside. Lays in the horn, asks for an oil change, and lo and behold, it's Dave Blue. <laughs> Can't see him. Where is he? I, I think he's here. There he is! <laughs> so, <laughs> and lo and behold, it's Dave Blue, just stopped by to visit. It's one of, it was one of my favorite days. For some reason or another, oh, listen. I'm just gonna tell you, I took him out to dinner and he still bitches about it because I brought him a Dewdrop Inn, it was famous for over 150 different wings, best place in Connecticut, and he didn't like the peanut butter and jelly wings <laughs> served with fluff. I just, I, I just, I can't wait till Gold Belly has that so I can ship it direct to him. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, for some reason or other, other shop owners like to stop by Stellar's Garage to see what we're up to. One more slide, please. Even our, our neighbors, sort of, who drive by me every day. Uh, Mark and Lucia popped in. One of my more recent friends, John Starkey, flew all the way from Hawaii. I don't know why he'd leave Hawaii. Just to visit to see our shop, and I think the real reason was he wanted a clam bake at my house. Um, I can't remember how many four pound lobsters we ate that night, but we had at least 11 pounds of steamers. And uh, we stayed up till 3.30 in the morning when he decided it was time for him to drive to the airport. The initial intent was he was gonna hang out and we would go to sleep and we're like, nah, you know we're here, let's just talk. Um, that took me over a week to recover. Me too. <laughs> So there's so many people I have met in the last two years via Zoom meeting, it baffles my mind. I'm not gonna name them all, because I really don't remember them all, but I remember a lot of you, and, and I'm sure maybe, hopefully, you remember me. Uh, by the way, anybody that I've taken classes with, if I did not say hello to you, um, I apologize, because my sight is going, especially now, and um, my memory, and I apologize. But please introduce yourself. It's also an opportunity to pretend you have no idea who I am, which is what, what people like to do, and, and mostly my family members. The next slide. Oh. As I look back on the many classes and conventions, top 20 meetings, and other people's shops I have attended, I think one of my favorite times was in Hawaii. It's got to be, probably, most likely. We got to work as a team outside, building sand castles in the sand. That was our task, right? Like, how, like, how awesome is that? Okay, yeah, get your... Uh, Tomorrow wearing swim trunks and bathing suits and uh, just be here with a towel. Yeah, so like real quick, the premise was 
you the table was assigned, you know, basically an or like an organizational board. Who's the top? You know, who's who's in charge? Who's going to be parts of procurement? And, and you know, who's going to come up with the design? Who's going to go acquire the stuff? So everybody had their own task, and then we just went at it, right? Big competition. Everybody's doing their own sandcastle, right? We we went. We decided to go. Uh, next slide, please. With a, a dolphin because it, they're known to, like that place. You can swim with the dolphins, right? How can you not win this, right? We had lobsters laying around. All sorts of turtles, seaweed, everything, right? Um, so again, back to my reading here, we worked on a team outside of building castles in the sand. We did not win the competition because a very large man rigged the game. <laughs> um, I'm not gonna mention any names. Really tall guy. Likes to uh, play poker sometimes. And uh, where's the black cowboy hat? Probably. <laughs> On stage next to me. So, anyways, he did not. We did. So he rigged it. The way, he, but he did end up to wear have to wear a grass skirt and coconuts, and it was well worth it. I would say next slide, but they would not allow me to put it up here. So sorry, sorry, because of the powers that be, would not allow. It. So times like this gives us all a chance to get away from the monotony, you know, of life and work and whatever the hell's going on, right? And, and, and it lets us all come together and spend time with each other, which. This is networking, this is what it's all about. I mean, the networking that we have is very special and it's on a, on a different level than, than other groups that, that come together. This group, it helps build people into solid leaders that can handle things that are thrown at them. All the stories I heard before me of what everybody went through and they persevered and they worked very hard at it. They had the knowledge, they had the equipment, the tools, the backing of drive, everybody to help them. Everybody here that I spoke to, like, uh, called up and asked questions to, again, I'm not, I'm not, I can't go through the list, but it's, it, I appreciate everything that you guys done for me. So it helps build people into solid leaders that can handle things that are thrown at them. Not only do we learn to adapt and react quickly, but we tend to do it in a positive way. Next one, please. After a hurricane ripped through our area, technically tornadoes touched down too, we were without power for two days at the shop. And at sucked. It was beautiful out the next day and everything cleared up, so what's a team to do but besides to take the boat out for a day and go have fun? And that's what leaders do, right? I mean, you look at the, you know, lemonade, and, you know, the lemons is the lemonade, or in this case, you know, fish. So I have always thought of myself as a jack of all trades and master of none, but the last few years have led me to believe differently. This group has helped me realize my full potential, not only in a classroom and education I received, but in helping other people out. Whether it was a phone call, sharing notes, spending time at these conventions and top 20 meetings over the years, talking to each other and really helping each other out, which I love to do. I've called many here and asked their personal and professional opinions. I thank everyone that has helped me. Keep this in mind that just as a captain and his vessel are in trouble, he has a radio to send an SOS to other captains. We have phones and computers to send to our fellow owners and, and help leading their ship. Never be afraid to reach out, and that is the beauty of our group. Looking at back at the past, I as, many, uh, I as well as many other people probably can't remember how many postcards Mike Lee's face was on. No more, please. I don't think he ever expected to, or maybe he did, to see this group become what it is today. But with Mike and Bill leading the way, this is what we've evolved into and continue to evolve. Without the knowledge that I've learned over the years, I know I would not be here where I am today, as many other shop owners have their ups and downs and personal challenges. We all learn to adapt to new changes, and that has helped us with drive. And the drive has adapted to new changes as well and will continue to. It's nice how we handle what is put in front of us makes us the diff makes a difference. It's, I'm sorry, excuse me. It's how we handle what's put in front of us that makes a difference and how you adapt to it and overcome. I'm very proud to have received this award. award. I'm very proud of the group of this, uh, of, to be part of this large group. For those of you that are here, and I don't know how many are, they're just starting out. Um, I started in 2008, and, and I'm just finally getting my master's, so don't drag your feet. But no, <laughs> if you just started out, do as much as you possibly can, because I've seen people such as Dave achieve uh, a lot in a short period of time, and it's a, it's a wonderful group. 
And I hope this uh, has been a moment of inspiration, not just my talk, but everybody else's and those to follow. I thank each and every one of you. God bless you and good night.